this class we worked out three problems on unbalanced three phase star connected system first problem is a three phase four wire 400 volts 50 hertz phase sequence is RYB system has a star connected load with ZR is equal to 8 angle 0 degrees ZO is equal to 10 angle minus 45 degrees ZB is equal to 12 angle 30 degrees the question is determine the phase and line currents and the current in the neutral here the line voltage is given 400 per phase voltage is 400 by root 3 is equal to 231 VR is equal to 231 angle 0 degrees, VY is equal to 231 angle minus 120 degrees, VB is equal to 231 angle minus 240 degrees. First we calculate IR, IR is equal to VR by ZR, IR is equal to 28.75 angle 0 degrees in amps. So in the R phase, the load is resistive load, 8 plus J0. In the Y phase, the load is capacitive 7.07 minus J 7.07 in the B phase the load is inductive 10.39 plus J6 ok similarly I can calculate IY IY is equal to 23.1 angle minus 75 degrees IB is equal to 19.25 angle minus 270 degrees in star connection line current is equal to phase current line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage Neutral current is equal to IR plus IY plus IB that is equal to 34.73 minus J 3.06 amps in rectangular form. In polar form magnitude is 34.86 angles minus 5.04 degrees. That is the neutral current. We calculated IR, IY, IB and the neutral current. This is the phase diagram. Second problem. A yeah, three phase four wire line to line voltage is 199.19 volts 50 hertz phase sequence is RYB system has a star connected load with the ZR is equal to 3 plus J4 ohms ZY is equal to 10 ohms ZB is equal to 5 plus J12 ohms the question is calculate the line and phase currents and current in the neutral and also calculate the total power taken by the load. It's a very simple problem. Here the line voltage is given. Per phase voltage is 115 volts. VR is equal to 115 angle 0 degrees. Per phase voltage. VY is equal to 115 angle minus 120 degrees. EB is equal to 115 angle minus 240 degrees. I can easily calculate IR. IR is equal to 115 angle 0 by 5 angle 53.13 degrees. IR is equal to 23 angle minus 53.13 degrees. IY is equal to 115 angle minus 120 degrees divided by 10 angle 0 degrees that is equal to 11.5 angle minus 120 degrees. IB is equal to 11, uh, 115 angle minus 240 degrees divided by 13 angle 67.38 degrees that is equal to 8.85 angle minus 307.38 degrees or 8.85 angle 52.62 degrees. So I can calculate IR, IY, IB, the neutral current is summation of IR plus IY plus IB that is equal to 13.42 angle minus 21.33 degrees. The last question is I want to calculate the total power taken by the load. The per phase power taken by the load each phase is VA cos theta. Here V is 115 that is constant, I is 23, cos 53.13 that is equal to 1587 watts. In the Y phase, 115 into 11.5 into cos 0 that is equal to 1322.5 watts. The B phase 115 into 8.85 into cos 67.3 degrees that is equal to 391.44 watts. Adding these three PR plus PY plus PB is the total power taken by the load that is equal to 3300 watts. Third problem in a three phase four wire. 400 bar 230 system line voltage is 400 phase voltage is 230 a lamp of 150 watts is connected to one phase and the neutral and a lamp of 250 watts is connected to the second phase and the neutral the question is calculate the voltage across each lamp when the neutral is disconnected that is the question First step we have to calculate the resistance of the 
lamp 1 and lamp 2. Resistance of lamp 150 watt lamp is per phase voltage square divided by wattage of lamp. So R1 is equal to 352.67 ohms. Similarly, resistance of lamp 250 watts that is 230 square divided by 250 that is equal to 211.60 ohms that is the resistance to. When the neutral is disconnected, these two are connected in series. Here the voltage is 400. So the total resistance is 352.67 plus 211.60. Total resistance in the network is 564.27 ohms. Now we calculate current flow through the lamp. Current flow through the lamp I is equal to 400 divided by 564.27 that is equal to 0.709 amps. That is the total current. Now we can easily calculate the voltage drop across the lamp 1 and lamp 2. Voltage drop across lamp 1 is equal to I into R1. That is equal to 250 volts. Voltage drop across the lamp 2 is equal to I into R2. That is equal to 150 volts. When the resistance is high, voltage drop is more. When the resistance is low, voltage drop is less. This is the information you obtained from this problem. This way you have to overcome this problem. Thanks for listening.